Steve Bowers and Cassandra Fuller. Welcoming you to Six in the City. We have a full house. We do have a we full have a house. We have a lot of guests today. today. We, we do. We start we... out with three right from the library. I right know. The, the three J's, they <laughs> said. It's Jen C. Spradlin, Jennifer Kilburn, and Jesse Rieger. They're all here from the Jackson Madison County Library because they've got a whole program uh, coming up for the summer. Rock through the summer with That's the right. Program That's right. That's exactly there. right. Abby Lackey is here to talk about the Twilight Run and rooftop and downtown rendezvous. Yeah. Excuse me. It's coming up June 7th. I know that's one of your favorite events. One of my favorite. Well, I, I am seeing the event. They've never asked me to run it. So I've uh, always been willing to show That's probably a good thing. I am seeing the show for You just dinner. stay MC and you eat <laughs> yeah, and you'll be good. No, I'm, I'm doing fine. <laughs> Reverend Richard Bunton is with us along with Melissa Washington and Sherman Whitelaw. And we're going to find out about a youth revival that's coming up at the Unity Temple Church on Lexington. And then we'll also visit with the folks from Northside United Methodist, Glenn Miller and his entire crew right, are here today from Refuge. Their musical is coming up this week. So we'll preview that and we'll find out some of the details of that program. Plus, Joe Mathern and Lynn Menendez are here because Haywood Heritage Foundation, their second annual history. Historic Home, home tour, tour is just right around the corner. It's coming up June 2nd. All right. And then Chad and Tasha Hart. Tasha Hart's back with us. She is. Yeah. But I think this time she's putting the spotlight on her husband. Well, I think they are. And the Toastmasters and all this stuff. Yeah. She may flip out a book and say, you can't order this. She might. She could pull it out of her if purse. If she's smart, gonna, she we're will. See. <laughs> Plus, we're going to have music from Refuge and find out more about the youth musical coming up this week at Northside United Methodist That's Church. Right. That's all ahead on this Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video apps with one remote. Record six shows at once and build a library of favorites with one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Call E Plus Broadband to add TiVo and ask about our new packages. JA Site Pay Kiosk are the convenient way to pay your utility bill. These kiosks are featured in the foyer at Martin Luther King Jr. Drive and at the drive through at Pleasant Plains Extended. Use your account number and follow step-by-step -step prompts to pay with cash, check, credit, or debit card. Account credit is immediate and a printed confirmation receipt is provided. Another step in customer service at JEA today. Hey, it's me, Baseball. I'm going to be flying all over the place this summer, but there is one place you can catch me all season on ESPN. Catch the best night of me, baseball, all season on ESPN. Children been home out. for about two or three days, and parents are already saying, "Man, they're we going gotta crazy. Do, we got to, we got to do something. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do something." Are, parents are ready for school and to start here, back. Here, here to the rescue is the Jackson Madison County Public Library That's because right. they're going to kick off the summer reading program. We're going to rock our way all the way through the summer, and they're going to do that this coming Friday, June second or Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, June second. At 11 o'clock, we're going to kick off the summer Elvis. reading. And Elvis is going to be there about That's 1 right. o'clock, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. So we're going to kick we off the summer We are kicking off eight weeks of summer programs. Wow. And we expanded the program from six weeks to eight weeks this year. And um, just to give a lot of opportunities and options for parents and families and individuals. So we're looking forward to that. So summer reading is not just for little bitty ones. It's for no, everybody. No, it's for everyone. Everybody in the family. Okay. Everybody, in, everybody the family in the family and adults as well. So this is an opportunity for people to do a lot of reading and have fun and do some new things, watch some movies, do some crafts. Um, okay. We've just got something for everyone. Opportunities going on at downtown and just at, at the, the Just, just at, at the downtown. main library downtown. That's okay. right. And so... <clears throat> This program, the theme of the program this summer is Libraries Rock, so a lot of our programs will have a music theme. So that's going to be a lot of fun, which is why we have Elvis, Elvis kicking, uh, it kicking it off at 1 o'clock on Saturday, which will have registration. Um, people can get their um, challenge sheets. We have fun challenge sheets for all different age groups that they can fill out different things and kind of give them an idea of some things they can do in addition to reading. Um, and then get the information about all the programs that we have coming up this summer. Okay. So Jessica, what's going to be happening in your division there now? Um, I'm the teen librarian. We will have uh, teamed, teamed up with uh, kids, 
a department and adult okay. um, for some intergenerational programming as well as having some specifically teen uh, programs. But we're going to have some things that focus on the music aspects, such as a, um, a music listening party where the teens can meet up with the adults and sort of have an opportunity to say, here's a couple of songs that really mean something to me and okay. here's why I like it. And, okay. um, you know, like make create, craft a soundtrack for their lives okay. and that sort of thing. We um, have a teen room, if you haven't been to the library lately, a teen, full teen room that's got games and, and appropriate reading material and all kinds of things there and all that. And then Jennifer, you, you've got the younger ones, right? I do. And um, in addition to having our regular story times three days a week, um, okay. we'll also have shows every Tuesday at 2 for the kids. Um, they can go on our website and see the calendar, see who all's coming. coming. Okay. Um, but we'll have, and we're going to end it up with a dance party, um, an 80s dance party. <laughs> and so they can, uh, you can help the kids okay. see what. They're supposed to wear to dress up like that. <laughs> what, what the ages were like. Back in the <laughs> dark yeah. ages. And um, also we're going to have special guests come to that one too, who with my crowd is more popular than Elvis, which is Pete the Cat. Oh, Pete okay. the Cat. So Pete oh. the Cat's going to be there. Okay. So if they want to meet Pete the Cat, they can come be right. part of the program and come to the party. Right. That's in July. Right. In July. So Jitsi, this goes all summer then. So the best it way does. to find out and track all this and follow this is, is um, You can go to our website at JMC Live library.org. You can also go to our Facebook page um, and get information about that. And then we have information that'll be uh, the calendars and all the information that'll be actually at the library. But pretty much uh, Tuesdays at 2 are programs for children and teens. And then Wednesdays at 2 are crafts for all ages. Um, so we'll be making bangle bracelets and ice cream and upcycling CDs and a lot of stuff like that. And uh, Thursdays there's a program um, in June, that's a STEM program, but we've already got that all booked up with the wow. kids, and then oh, right? uh, okay. yeah, and filled it filled up really quickly. Wow. And then in July, oh, we exciting. have games for all ages on Thursdays at two, and every Friday we're going to have uh, movies at one o'clock. Okay. Um, we're going to be doing Jailhouse Rock uh, on the eighth, so it'll be a whole series of movies. We've got a rock paper scissors tournament this month okay. um, that'll be fun. Um, just lots of lots and lots of events. Well, Jessica's just because it's a microphone. She's yeah. got something. She's, got something. she's, she's got a good point. Event. She's yeah. got I've something. Got something I'm sorry, I've got something really exciting. Um, we have we won an opportunity through the Country Music Hall of Fame to have a songwriting distance learning uh, workshop on Tuesday, June 12th. Okay. It'll be okay. at two o'clock, um, and it's limited space as well, but. Right now, we've got quite a few spaces open still. So you don't so need to register. Now, it's we want it through the Country Music the Hall, Hall of Fame, Fame in Nashville. Right, yeah, so. library's got gig internet, and so they got access to things all over the world. Yeah. I mean, so this, will be, this is a great opportunity for yeah, the distance it's, learning it's too. Really, really so do cool. um, people need to register for that separately? Yes. They sign okay. up through that or for that by emailing me, Jay Rieger at madisoncountytn.gov. Okay. okay, and that That's information good. is on our oh, website as well. All right, so I'll go to. JM Library. JMC Library. 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 Org. And we've got a whole page um, that Zoe put together okay. that's got all of the forms and all of our okay. calendars okay. and everything Anything going you on. Need to know. But there are over 40 events just wow. associated with our summer wow. library program okay. going on in June and July. Right. Plus, there's over 40 events that we already have on an ongoing, regular basis. So, so where it's happening. We're going to start rocking to my Saturday. And it's all free. That's right. We'll see you Elvis there at 11. Elvis will be off. there Saturday at 1 o'clock. Right. We'll be back with more Six in the City. Throughout its history, Jackson, Tennessee has been a leader in manufacturing, education, transportation, utility service, and more. But the key to Jackson's future, full gig fiber to the home infrastructure, E plus broadband. Innovative applications, fastest connectivity, revolutionizing everything. JA's fiber network offers Jackson unlimited capacity for any future bandwidth demands. Connectivity, heavy internet usage, the best reliability. Jackson, Tennessee, not just a gig city, an innovation city. Stop and think about your health. Don't smoke. If you do, quit. Eat healthy. Make small changes in your diet that can impact your health. Be more active. Start in small ways and keep going. And know your numbers. Your blood pressure and your cholesterol are important to your health. Friends of Heart ask you to be a friend of your own heart. Propane. 
95% generated in the U.S. is a gas that works anywhere. Central tanks for fleets, vehicles, portable tanks for forklifts, lawnmowers, the fuel you can take anywhere. Even backup generation runs off propane, household appliances, outdoor features. To find out more about affordable, clean, versatile propane, contact JEA's ProGas, 422-7500. The alternative fuel that makes sense. Propane, part of JEA today. Special musical coming up this week, and we will get a preview of that with the Northside United Methodist Youth Group coming up in this segment. Before we get there, Abby Lackey is with us. One of our favorite events coming up downtown Jackson is going to be kind of headquartered around the AMP. It's coming up next Thursday, right next That's Thursday, right. June Thursday 7th. Evening. And it'll start, uh, registration that evening starts at 5, is that right? Yeah, walk-up registration starts at 5. 5 o'clock, the event starts at 6, and it is, the, it is called the Twilight Run in downtown Rendezvous which is an important thing, and it's all for Heaven's Cradle, which is a special call. So we'll get to that in a moment. But first, the logistics of the event. The run starts at Yes, the run six. starts at 6, six. Okay. Um, but walk-up registration is at 5. Um, if you want to register now, you can do that online. Races, and races online. online. That's right, races okay. online. Twilightrun.racesonline.com. Yeah. I, 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 I try to get as many people register as I can. I know you do. And early registration is how much? Early registration is $30, and that gets you your race, your T-shirt, and, and your, your food. dinner from West Alley Barbecue. Barbecue. See? Right. It's so a good dinner. deal. Now, if you and just want to do dinner, <coughs> not that anybody would, <laughs> but if you just want to do dinner, that's $10. Right. Yes, and, and you, you can do that online too. You can do it online too. So get your dinner. And it's the 5K. We have a 5K and a one and mile. And a one mile. So mm -hmm. you could do the one mile. I can do the one mile. Yeah. Okay. But He's I'm going to be talking. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be talking. I know. And Cooper the Band's going to be there. They are. Cooper the Band's going to be there. How fun. And, and so that's going to be a great, great evening. And so that's coming next Thursday, June 7th. And it's going to be all around the amp. It's and starts, yeah, the race starts, have, start race line starts is, at 6. Yeah. But start line is where? Um, that mar New Market Street, right okay. between right the amp and the farmer's between market. The market. Mm -hmm. And we'll have, there's going to be ice cream. You can buy beer, music from Cooper the Band, silent auction. So lots okay. of stuff lots going of on lots out of there. Mm -hmm. So the, will the silent auction be under the pavilion and all? Is that the, It's going to be right, um, kind of right there by the farmer's market office. Offices. offices, okay, mm -hmm. right, right front, right there on Market Street. So That's just right. be there, and we're just praying for good weather and everything else. Now this goes, it's a, the, a special it's fundraising fundraiser. event for Heaven's Cradle, and wanted to, to give Abby uh, a, a time to talk about what this organization is and what it does. Right, thank you for that. So Heaven's Cradle is a fund of the West Tennessee Healthcare Foundation, and we're really proud that we're local. Um, started local and all of our money stays local. And what we do is we help families um, with financial needs um, and other needs when they have lost an infant to stillbirth. And so one of the um, things that folks don't think about is when there's a stillborn baby, there's funeral expenses um, and no life insurance policy. So there's that immediate expense. And then we also provide um, counseling. We have a support group. Um, we have paid to send some of our local nurses and doctors to some trainings on perinatal bereavement. And we're really proud to have um, developed in partnership with Jackson General Hospital, one of the only perinatal hospice programs in the state of Tennessee. Okay. So it was an important thing. We, <clears throat> the hospital, uh, you know, a wonderful facility. We've had children there. Uh, you know, the bells go off and the thing sounds and the assumption Everybody's is that this is a happy moment right. and everything is set up and you have the characters and all these things to announce births. And then for some families, and Abby's been through this, for some families it is a crisis situation. In some cases it's a critical, fatal situation there. A child may be already uh, deceased. And, and so it's just... It was a recognition that, hey, there's another element to this, and we ought to be aware of this. That's right. And so what we found is, thing. you know, we do a really good job taking care of the medical needs, mm -hmm. but um, nobody knows what to do with right. the emotional and social support that those families need. And so when I went through this um, back in 2011, you know, I didn't know anybody who had lived through this. I didn't know what to do. I had about one hour with my son, and that was it. And so part of the work we do is to let these families know they're not alone, and then also to help them make the most of the time that they get with their child. And so we provide them with gowns, um, photography sessions, keepsakes, um, anything that they might want or need during that time. So they don't have to worry about anything. All they have to do is spend what time they get with their son or daughter, and everything else is taken care of. It's important work, and that's why this run work. is taking place. And so when you really hear about the Twilight Run and Downtown Rendezvous, that's what it's all about. Okay, so Racesonline.com, right, right? Get that taken care of. $30. Register to run. $30. Or you can just or register, just register to, to eat. eat. And, uh, and right. the money goes to all of this. And thanks to all the folks at West Alley Barbecue 
and to Cooper the band, all That's the right. people Come down and have this. a good time. And we'll see you next Thursday. That's right. That's right. June night. 7th Thursday at night. racesonline.com. It's good to see you. It is you good too. to have you, Appreciate this work. Glad things are well with you and uh, appreciate the effort here. Well, we're going to the main stage. Refuge is the musical. It is coming up starting Thursday evening, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7, then Sunday at 5 at the Hope Hall, Northside United Methodist Church. And these are some of the cast members from Ref Refuge at Northside United Methodist. my tears away I felt the pain of heartbreak I've seen the brighter days I pray prayers to heaven from my lowest place I have felt the blessings God you give and take away no matter where I am your grace is enough and no matter where I am, I'm standing in your love. On the mountains, I will bow my life to the one who sent me there. In the valley, I will lift my eyes to the one who sees me there. When I'm standing on the mountain, I didn't get there on my own. When I'm walking through the valley, I know I am not alone. The God of the hills and valleys, hills and valleys, God of the hills and valleys, and I am not alone. I've watched my dreams get broken, in you I hope again. No matter what I know, I'm safe inside your hand. On the mountains I will bow my life to the one who set me there. In the valley I will lift my eyes to the one who sees me there. When I'm standing on the mountain I didn't get there on my own. When I'm walking through the valley I know I am not alone. The God of the hills and valleys. He's got a hills and bats, and I am not alone. Father, you give and take away every joy and every pain through it all. Father, you give and take away every joy and every pain. Through it all, you will remain over it all. On the mountainside, I will bow my life, yeah. In the valley, I will lift my eyes. On the mountains I will bow my life to the one who set me there. In the valley I will lift my eyes to the one who sees me there. When I'm standing on the mountain I didn't get there on my own. When I'm walking through the valley I know I am not alone. The God of the Adventure. This is your GAC. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video apps with one remote. Record six shows at once and build a library of favorites with one pass recording. 
Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Call E Plus Broadband to add TiVo and ask about our new packages. Renew Biomedical also uses the same great JEA broadband service as well as the JEA telephone service uh, to make sure our service customers get the support and service they need, both uh, via phone, email, and teleconferencing. Uh, we ship uh, service uh, loaners and we, it's imperative that we uh, keep in contact with our, our service customers and get them the feedback they need. And the only way to do that is with reliable internet and telephone connection. Back into Six in the City, we'll have more from the musical refuge from Northside United Methodist Church. With us in this segment is Reverend Richard Bunton, along with Melissa Washington and Sherman sure. Whitelaw, and they are part of the youth revival coming up at the Unity Temple Church on Lexington Avenue in the city. It'll be next week, June the 4th through the 8th, that Monday through Friday. And Richard's good to have you and everybody with us. Tell me a little bit about the Unity Church. Well, the Unity Church is it's actually our state headquarters for our state jurisdiction. But this meeting will be a district meeting. It will consist okay. of only six churches in our district. Okay. We have churches from, from Humboldt to all the way to Grand Junction, Tennessee. Right. And we have a couple here in the city also. So what time will this event be held or each day then? The first day, we're going we're gonna, to, on the 4th, we're going to celebrate our pastor's birthday at, one of the, at Sparky's Pizza. And we're going to come out, we're going to celebrate then and share some gifts and give away a few door prizes okay. and... Then the next day, we're going to have a musical in Humboldt at one of our sister churches in Humboldt, okay. Tennessee. Okay. And that, that will begin at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Then following up on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, then it changes locations? Yes, we're going to change the locations. I'm going to allow uh, Sherman to kind of All right. uh, Sherman, talk a little we bit about that. Well, on um, Wednesday through Friday, we'll be at our church at Unity Temple. Uh, we will have guest speakers on Wednesday. Starting off, the speaker will be... Uh, Pastor Jeremy Seward of Milan, Tennessee, New Holy Deliverance Temple. Uh, he's an awesome speaker. Okay. He's a great friend of mine. Then on Thursday, we will have Pastor William Watson of the historic First Baptist Church okay. uh, on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And he's a, also a great speaker and a great friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And then Friday, my mother, uh, who is the First Lady of Unity Temple, she will be speaking and closing out the conference. And oh, she's the most awesome, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. she's <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, the most awesome. These will all be at 7 o'clock. Is that when they will they'll Yes, begin sir, 7 o'clock. Each evening, all right. And, and then uh, Melissa, We're going to also have some classes also. Okay. okay. On Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to have a couple of classes. Uh, on Wednesday, we're gonna, the first class will consist of, we're going to talk about and train people and teach them on missions and how we operate in our missions department throughout our whole entire uh, denomination locally and nationally okay. and internationally. Okay. What, what, what age people is this targeted for then, Richard? We're, we're targeting all people, but it mostly we're going to mostly focus on our youth, youth and allow them to come out and they'll be doing inspirational messages. They'll be singing. They'll be doing prayers, reading the scripture. In fact, my 10-year-old grandson will be reading the scripture one day. Mm -hmm. And also we'll have them spotlighted throughout the meeting doing different things. Okay. Now, Reverend, is there a, uh, do folks have to register for this, or is there something yes, they can show up Yes, we do have for? a registration, and you can't just show up, but we do have a volunteer uh, registration. Okay. okay. And you go online? Is that online? No, we, you do it at the church. At the church. At the church. Okay. At the church. Mm -hmm. And the church is 369 Lexington Avenue. Lexington Avenue. All right, Melissa, well, you the microphone down there. What is your involvement in all this? Well, actually, I work with, I my title is youth chair lady yeah. and I work more with the youth involving um, with this uh, when you convention. say youth that is what age up to age 21 up to age 21, 21. 21. Okay. but right. of course we are targeting also those who are, of us who are young at heart <laughs> <laughs> we want every so if I show up you're gonna let me in of course, <laughs> okay. of course we'd love to Richard's not gonna be the door say don't let him <laughs> in <this house." laughs> but yeah. I wanted to add also quickly although we do have a registration uh, uh, be, you don't have to register to come. Okay. You don't have to pay to come. We would like for you to, but if you don't, you know, if you can't, we would love for you to come. Okay. There's going to be, like you said, speakers, all types. 
Is this done each year or is this the first yes. time you're doing this? So you've no, been doing this each this year? we've done this for several years. years now. Several All right, years. so people are, that will be familiar with it then. Yes. That would, to get the dates, it starts June 4th and goes through June, June the 8th, 8th, next Monday through Friday. There'll be different locations, but it'll settle at the Unity Temple Church Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yes, right, correct. With these speakers. And you've got a cross section of people coming in that are supporting this. Oh, yes. Obviously from other churches and denominations. Other different right? denominations will be coming. Okay. How long have you been with the Unity Church? I've been with the Unity Temple Church since its existence. Okay. Uh, we came together in, was it 1993 yes. when we okay. combined churches? There were two churches combined. It was a church called Little Rock Temple Church of God in Christ, uh -huh. which was right down the street about two blocks, right, uh -huh. uh, right directly across the street from the Burger King. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. we had another church that was at the current location that we're in now. was called Greater Victory. Okay. So our bishop decided to move great. his son, which was the pastor of greater victory to Memphis to take his position so he would have more free time to manage our jurisdiction okay. and do national affairs right. for our national church. Right. And so we combined and made one church, which Definitely. is called Unity, Unity Temple. Temple. Right. Well, that's right. where it'll be headquartered ne next week. It's good to see you all. It's right. good to have you guys Rock here. Rock Temple Church, too. Maybell. Maybell Smith was found singing at the Rock Temple Church back in many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. It was an extraordinary career. It's good to see you. Appreciate good y'all being here. We're Thank going back right. to the main states. This is the youth group, part of it. From Northside tonight, <laughs> a, a cast of three out of about 58 <laughs> uh, that will be performing Refuge coming up later this week. Throughout its history, Jackson, Tennessee has been a leader in manufacturing, education, transportation, utility service, and more. But the key to Jackson's future, full gig fiber to the home infrastructure, E plus broadband. Innovative applications, fastest connectivity, revolutionizing everything. JA's fiber network offers Jackson unlimited capacity for any future bandwidth demands. Connectivity, heavy internet usage, the best reliability. 
Jackson, Tennessee, not just a gig city, an innovation city. Hey, it's me, baseball. I'm going to be playing all over the place this summer, but there is one place you can catch me all season on ESPN. Catch the best night of me, baseball, all season on ESPN. With E Plus Broadband and Watch TV Everywhere, you can now take your TV on the go. Just visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to sign up. Then you're all set to catch your favorite shows, movies, and sports wherever and whenever you want on any internet connected device. Choose from our growing selection of networks from your cable package at no extra charge. Visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to learn more. It's easy to sign up for E Plus Broadband's TV Everywhere. Miller is with us with the Northside United Methodist Church, and, and he is responsible for this musical in, in the sense that he directs or coordinates or says, hey, y'all do it. Well, <laughs> I, I come and talk with y'all. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> and got this going on out here. And so, uh, so anyway, it's, it's good, to have you, good to have you with us. And uh, this has been going on 20 years, you said. 20 years. This is 20, our 20th 20. anniversary, oh, so wow. we're really excited about this year. Well, the musical yeah. is called Refuge, and it starts Thursday evening this week, the 31st, and then June 1st and 2nd, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m., Sunday, Sunday afternoon on the 3rd at 5, and you don't have to have a ticket. It's mm -hmm. at Hope Hall in the First United, I mean, Northside United Methodist Church, so just be there on the yeah, just Island. come on out and, and have a good time All with right, this so message. so Refuge, then, and the theme of this is what? The theme of this, uh, actually, we have not done a period piece in a long time, so we went back to the Depression uh, to uh, about 33, 1933, and the theme of this is uh, as the crash has happened and uh, kind of some of the investments that a banker had made and some of the things that are going on in his life and some of the things that are going on in the townspeople's lives and a couple of prodigals that have made their way to and fro and how they weave themselves in the story. But it's that, that standard story of why do good things happen to bad people or bad and, things happen to good people. Or, yeah, yeah, bad things happen to good people. And, and why does well, it seem, that's the converse of that, too. Yeah, that's right, that's and, right. and, yeah why do bad things happen yeah. to good people? And why does, why does it seem like God's just kind of sitting there and not... Taking care of business when we like. So for it's him based too. on Job, then. It is based on Which Job. It's based on the story of Job. An uncomfortable premise because you got God and Satan talking about as if they're buddies. Yeah. Uh, have you taken note of my servant Job here? Yeah. It's, it's a little uncomfortable dialogue going on there. That's exactly like, right. I thought he was the enemy, but anyway. That's so right. they're they're talking <laughs> it over. Yeah. All right. So you said it then in the 30s because of the catastrophe, then the economic reversal. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. And we just thought that'd be a great time to do that. So and who writes this? Uh, the students do. They get together about October and uh, they begin that writing process and. And they, they come up with the ideas and they come up with the things that's going on. It's really kind of fun because we see things that mirror those images in their lives, you know, those concepts and those themes. Uh, and then they, they work with Mitzi Mathenia, who's our, our youth music director and has been the person doing, directing all of these uh, for the last 20 years. And, um, and they put it together, find and, or make the music make, and, so and they roll from there. Now, the music for this, is it written by them? This, the, not this year. Not, not this, this year. year. All this is uh, music that you'd find from Deer Hunter um, David Crowder, uh, uh, those kinds of folks that are out there in the, in the business. But uh, in the past, we have had uh, students write music for, for the It's a pretty heavy theme. It is. Heavy. It is. It is. Yeah, pretty heavy duty um, stuff. Kind of like what we talked about a little bit this morning. When I get down uh, to the end, am I going to get an answer? You, you, you may. You may. You may. Or is don't it kind of like the book of Job? Don't give away the Hush, farm. You ask you stuff you don't need to know about. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah, That's right. right. That's right. So, it's a, so they, they grapple with this. Then, they do. And, and, and I find it interesting because you know, there's a lot of parallels, perhaps, between what they're going through, you know, with teen suicide rates very high in West Tennessee in the last year or two, uh, school shootings, those kinds of things. They're asking that question. Right. Why, why are these why, things why? happening? Yeah. Why, why, why? Yeah. Um, and it's the same things folks have asked ever since Cain and Abel. Very, you know, very so. timely. Yes, very, very timely. much. Okay. Well, it, uh, there's no ticket admission required or anything else. No, to show. not whatsoever. If you're going to bring a large group, like a youth group or something, give us a call and let us know, and we'll make sure we reserve you enough know, spots together. Okay. But other than that, Come have a great time. And the number? nursery is provided? A nursery is provided, and the, and the number of the church is 668 
And um, you know, all the social media sites have a hashtag refuge musical 2018. Okay. And you put that hashtag in, you'll find some stuff. Okay, so it's so. refuge musical in it. So pick it up from there. Yep. You can't really continue to do these, I take it. We, we look forward to the next one. Okay. <laughs> Another what, 20 what years. Do, what do people get out of this? Uh, well, when, you, when you watch it, you've been watching several of these now. You've gone through multiple generations. Exactly. And um, I think what you see when the church is active in people's lives like that, you see discipleship happen over a, a, a period of time. And you realize that your students in your community, in your church, in your home, have a message that they have for you that God's given them. But also, it gives them a chance to tell you, hey, we're learning some of this stuff that you're putting out there in Sunday school or those sermons or what you're telling me at home. We're we're getting it. We're getting it. Yeah. So. It's a cast of nearly 60. Oh, yeah. Oh, right? Somewhere like a little over 50 this year. I mean, uh-huh. all the people set yeah. design. It's yeah. an extensive production, and yeah. it's very, very, they are very, very well done. And so that's a real special opportunity. This coming Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the 31st through June the 2nd at 7, and then Sunday, Sunday afternoon at 5. five. Hope Hall, North Sunday, United admission. Methodist. Yeah, absolutely. So just show good to see you, Glenn. Good to see you. Thank you. Glenn. I appreciate you, these folks being with that's us tonight. Right. We're going to find out about the Haywood Heritage Foundation and their home tour that's coming this weekend as well. So all that's ahead on Six in the City. Hi, I'm Kedrick Perkins, PGA General Manager at Jackson Country Club. Jackson Country Club's amenities are true southern hospitality. Championship golf course, fine dining, six tennis courts, junior Olympic pool and fitness. We pride ourselves in giving our members the best. Choosing JEA was a logical choice so that we could tie in our phone, internet, and cable solutions so that we can advance our next segment of technology. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Move over. It's the law. When approaching work vehicles or crews, move over to create a safety zone. It protects utility workers, law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency personnel. It's not an option. Slow down. It could save a life. Stay safe. Move over. I walk you across the street? Uh, sure. Why not? Thanks. You're welcome. And Lynn Menendez are with us. They are with the Haywood Heritage Foundation in Haywood County. They're getting ready for their second annual home, home tour that's coming up this Saturday. We want to get details of that. I also want to find out about the Haywood Heritage Foundation. What is that? Start out, Lynn. Oh, All right, Lynn. <laughs> Lynn, we're going to talk. Here the we go. The foundation is about two years old. Okay. And um, What's it its function? The main function that it has is really to promote historical preservation of both cultural and architectural things in Haywood, Haywood County. County. Okay. And um, that's a broad statement, you know, of, of what we do. We look at economic revitalization of both historic areas and other neighborhoods, okay. similar to what Lana does, except okay. it's not anywhere as big as Lana. And we try to um, promote education about historic preservation and the how-tos about historic okay. preservation. Okay. So. To pick up properties before they get too dilapidated or if they... Yeah. Try to, yeah, right. and encourage yeah. homeowners okay. and, you know, ways yeah. to preserve their house, what they could get... Well, there's a lot of history in Haywood County in, in, in West Tennessee, and, uh, and some of this is going to be featured uh, this coming week with this uh, home tour. It will start at what time? We're the, it starts at 10 o'clock on Saturday, this coming Saturday, okay. June the 2nd, from 10 to 4. 10 to 4, okay. And we are featuring one of our newer, Brownsville did a survey about four years ago, and we inventoried all the significantly architectural, historic, cultural sites. We okay. have over 400 in wow. the city oh, wow. of Brownsville. Yeah. Just okay. in the city Just alone. in the city. Mm-hmm. So we're taking some of those and featuring them. We had a very successful tour last year. We are going to a different historic district this year. So if people went, if people came last year, okay. totally different houses this year, totally different uh, um, structures. But we're in the North Washington district, which okay. is if you're coming off of Court Square, you head out kind of towards Bells and Alamo, if you're familiar right. with Brownsville, okay. out okay. North yeah. Washington. We have six structures 
structures, uh, two of which are listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Christ Episcopal Church, which dates to 1854. Oh, is that? They're showing pictures. Oh, I'm is sorry. that it? Yes, that's yes. it. Oh, thank okay, you very much church. for putting the yeah. pictures yeah. in. Yes. Um, we, also have, we also have Temple Adas Israel, which is the oldest continuously operating synagogue in the state of Tennessee. It was oh, the wow. largest synagogue between Memphis and Nashville back in the day. Uh, it, it dates to, from 1882, and it also is on the National Register of Historic oh, wow. Places. We have four wonderful, uh, the First Methodist Church is going to be doing two presentations presentations on our magnificent stained glass windows and the, and the history of the sanctuary, which the building dates back to 1899. The, um, the Court Square, we're going to have a number of businesses on Court Square that are open for all, all in. The, there's one side of Court Square that predates the 1900s. It's okay. never been oh, wow. rebuilt. And so we're taking some of the, the okay. uh, properties there and opening them up to show how these, these uh, buildings are being repurposed for commercial and residential. And we have, residential. An up, we have a loft oh, over wow. one of the businesses. Oh, wow. The loft has been featured on HGTV and oh, wow. Tennessee Crossroads. So just, got a just lot a to offer. How, then how do people get an itinerary and how do they get tickets for yeah. this? Day? Well, Lynn, you might want to talk about where to get tickets. Yeah. And you can get tickets now through our website. Um, which is haywoodheritage.org. Haywoodheritage.org. Or, mm -hmm. or the day of, it's going to be registration at First Methodist Church. Okay. And we'll have limited tickets there. Okay. okay. Tickets are $35, which includes lunch, or if you just want to go on the tour, it's $25. 25 okay. So you do lunch where? Lunch this year is at ZZ's. Okay. Which, which is, is on the square. On the square, okay. Right. And it has a great menu. It's mainly sandwiches and salads and right. Right. $10 right. Sure. for lunch. It's and, a good deal. And let me say one important thing. The 100% the of the proceeds of the tickets goes towards the efforts of the foundation because of our underwriters. We have sponsoring uh, businesses, Brownsville Funeral Home, Aeneas Tele uh, Telephone and Internet. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Simmons Bank, Brownsville Family Medicine. They are totally underwriting the cost okay. of us putting this on so that 100% of the proceeds can mm -hmm. go towards okay. the efforts of the foundation. Oh, wow. We have uh, Greek Gothic, 1867. We've got Folk Victorian, 1873. We've got Early Craftsman Architecture, 1910. There is an architectural style for everyone. Just a broad range of It of really homes. is. I think and that's what's Brownsville really good about said, this year is there is a broad range of homes and sizes of homes, plus Court Square, the different areas. That oh, yeah. So it's yeah. really a slice of Brownsville. Was the Haywood Heritage Tour it is this Saturday from 10 till 4. That's 10 correct. Till 4. 10 go to the First Methodist Church if you don't have tickets in advance. Or you can go to the website, haywoodheritage.org. Right. That's correct. You can actually register at the church. church. You can yeah. register at the church. church. $35 okay. if you want to do lunch, or $25 if you want to do the tour. Just the tour. Right. And it is, uh, it's a it's a tour. And you said last year. six structures that are on the, on the tour. Six structures, plus, plus, the, plus the, the Methodist Church, church plus, plus the, the downtown. downtown. Oh, okay. So, yes. okay. Well, then so plus, plus. Big handful, plus, plus, plus. It'll be a busy yes. yeah. Right. It'll be a busy, come, play, come well, spend the whole day. Well worth your money. Absolutely. Well, it's good to see you both. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Hope to see you in Brownsville on Saturday. We'll <laughs> We're going back to the main stage, and these are cast members from Refuge, the youth musical that's coming up this weekend at the Northside United Methodist Church. Rolled in like a fresh breeze, pretty sure you were feeling me. Could you see my heart skip a beat? Tell me, boy, did you see me stumble in my knees? God, we took me to a place I wasn't ready for. Show me things in me that I just can't ignore. Everything about us was a perfect storm. But it's all clear now. How could I think that you were? How could I think that you were? How could I think that you were all that I've been waiting for? How could I think that you were? How could I think that you were? How could I think that you were all that I've been waiting for? No, I don't need no more time, no more time to think about it. I just want this over and done i'm done with it i don't want to see you no more. no more standing on my doorstep keeping score standing on my doorstep trying to do us again no no no, no. i can't do us again oh. how could
could I think that you were? How could I think that you were? How could I think that you were all I've been waiting for? How could I think that you were? How could I think that you were? How could I think that you were all I've been waiting for? It's all the perfect timing. I know I'll be all right. Sun will keep on shining. Baby, I'm all right. It's all the perfect timing. I know I'll be all right. Sun will keep on shining. Own a lawn mowing service? Propane works for you. Propane can go where you go. Tanks easily changed, no spillage, quick transition, clean burn, increased energy efficiency. Propane, the affordable, clean, alternative fuel wherever you mow. Find out more about JA's ProGas, call 422-7500. Propane, the alternative fuel that makes sense. Part of JEA today. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. I do not love him. Throughout its history, Jackson, Tennessee has been a leader in manufacturing, education, transportation, utility service, and more. But the key to Jackson's future, full gig fiber to the home infrastructure, E plus broadband. Innovative applications, fastest connectivity, revolutionizing everything. JA's fiber network offers Jackson unlimited capacity for any future bandwidth demands. Connectivity, heavy internet usage, the best reliability. Jackson, Tennessee, not just a gig city, an innovation city. Welcome back to Six in the City. We will have more from the Northside United Methodist Youth Musical Refuge, Refuge. coming up before we get away. Right now, Chad and Tasha Hart are with us. Tasha's here as the agent. And Chad here <laughs> is the... Uh, Tasha, Tasha got him on this show. That's she was right. on last week and said, my husband's doing something special and I want back on the show. He's so, here because so she told him to be here. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> and, and, you know, Chad, yeah. in real life, you're with the fire department here? Yes, I am. Okay, with the fire department here. But 16 he is also, years. He's 16 also part years. of Toastmasters. And he is one... And is a semifinalist in the national competition that is coming up when? International competition. International. Is, yes, sir. It's coming up the August the 22nd to the 25th. All right. 22nd through the and 25th. And to get there, you had to be like. To it, get where you are now, you had to be. Close. I think the contest started around 20 to 25,000 people, people okay. all over the world. Okay. And we up to the top 100 speakers now. Wow. Yes, sir. So here is it. So we're going to send him. We're going to send him this international competition, so we can bring this trophy home to Jackson, Tennessee. And yes. to do that, we got a special day coming up, June 29th. Yes, sir. All right. And so, what, what's going to be happening that day? June 29th. I'm going to let my agent talk about that. You're going to hand it off to his agent. Yes. She's been going around handing out baskets and taking up donations. Is what she's That's been what doing. That's what I do. That's yeah. what I do. All right. So, Tasha, but what's going to be going on that day? June 29th, we are going to be in front of Northside High School. Okay. And right there in front of. Um, the Lions, the Lions Club. Club yeah. The Lions right. Club. The Lions Club. Lions Club. Okay. Yes, so we're going to be out there. Woodman Life has decided to partner with Toastmasters. Okay. okay. And they have huge grills. They're eight foot long smokers, and they're going to be smoking ribs. Ribs, okay. Yes, we're going to be smoking ribs 
all day. You're going to smell them from a mile away. You're going to want some. Right. And <laughs> the proceeds, of course, will be donated to the club, and that will in turn support this um, trip yeah, to yes. Chicago. And we pre-purchase our, our ribs, pre right? Yes. $20. A yes. slab. Twenty dollars a slab, which is a bargain because that is a bargain. every ticket will be put in a drawing to help you get ready for your fourth of July okay. celebration. You'll now, get how, how do we pre purchase how do we order our ribs? You can actually call I you, gave his you, number. You out. can call me at seven three one two nine three three zero two one or you can uh, go on the Facebook page, Toastmasters Facebook page, Toastmasters. and you can okay. get in contact with us by there. Okay. Is it Toastmasters of Jackson, or what is the Facebook page? Uh, Toastmasters, Toastmasters of Jackson. Of Jackson. Okay. Daybreak. Okay. Daybreak. Yes, Daybreak Toastmasters. Daybreak. Daybreak. Yes, Daybreak. Toastmasters. Okay. So it's, and it's uh, 293-3021 if you want to go ahead and get yes. that, that order in. Now, it's going to be from <coughs> 1 to 4. Will there be other things happening that day? Yes. Besides the drawing, and you don't have to be present to win, by purchasing your ticket, your name automatically goes in a drawing, okay. and you'll get a gift card from Kroger to help buy some fixings to go with your ribs. Yeah. Yes. But the biggest thing, you're going to have the chance when you pick up your ribs, you'll be able to see a unicyclist. He's local, and he's got a five-foot unicycle. So I just <laughs> want to come and see. <laughs> I want to see how he's going to get on this thing. That's <laughs> wow. So yeah. you're going to see him going up and down Highland while these ribs are smoking, and we're going to have some activities yes, for right. the kids. Activities for so the kids. So let's, let's right. get that That's order in in advance. That's right. And, and get now, if we show up on the 29th, can we get ribs, or are we just out of luck? Do we, we just got to have a few. Okay, we'll so some. it's best to go ahead and get your pre-order yes. pre now. Yes. Okay. yes, and if an office wants to take an order, we'll deliver. We deliver. Okay, we deliver we'll deliver. Your office. Okay. All right, so 293-3021. Right. Yes. Our Daybreak Toastmasters. Daybreak Toastmasters yes. of Jackson, Tennessee. Now, the Toastmasters meet every Thursday. At the, at the Lions Club there at 645. 645 a.m. So what got you involved in this? Well, my wife, believe it or not. <laughs> How, we would have never guessed that. Yes. Yeah. Jen, I'm know. glad she's married to you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my first couple of speeches <laughs> I, don't think I, I don't think I <laughs> My wife coming in and say, here's something else you need to be doing. <laughs> you know, my first couple of speeches, I bombed. Okay. And they said, well, I see, I see you have some, some type of ta talent, some potential. <laughs> so I kept on. And three years later, mm -hmm. I'm in the semifinals of okay. uh, the top 100 speakers in the world. Well, well somebody matches. somewhere was right because three yes, years later, yes. here you are. What has it meant to you then to be involved in this? It, you know, it's, Other it's, than Tasha leaves you alone now. You know, it's uh, world, it's mind changing, it's world changing for me because okay. I never thought I would be here. Okay. And I practice and I practice, and now I'm a semifinalist, you know, the okay. top 100 in right. the, the world. world. The world, That's yeah, amazing. not just the country, yes. the whole world. A, yes, That's huge. I knew yes. you had it in you. <laughs> yes. yes. You know? That's why every good man needs I a woman kicking him in, in the behind yes. every day saying, get out <laughs> there and more. do something. Yeah. To talk yeah. more. That's right. That's, That's exactly right. Well, congratulations. Well, thank That's, you, sir. I appreciate it. What is your topic? Honor. Are they assigned topics, well, or how does this um, work? I'm, I wrote a speech, and I have right. to do the same speech that I did to get there. Right. But okay. if I win, well, when I win to semifinals, finals, <laughs> then I have to make another speech and present it the uh, like the new speech. Yes, the short notice, yes. Kind of extemporary. Oh, wow. Very good. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you. I appreciate right, so it. It's June the 29th. June the 29th. $20 a slab, 2021. Go ahead and get your, get your ribs yes. now. June 15th. Pre yeah. pre pre order. June 15th is the deadline oh, the to pre order. Okay. okay. Right. So yes. we need yeah. to go ahead and either text, right. call, or 293 3021. Yes. Well, congratulations. I appreciate we want to bring it. it. When you win that trophy, we want to bring yes. it. That's right. Yes. You're going to come yes. back and show it off. It'll be the first time. We'll make First time in history in Jackson, Tennessee. Oh, wow. Well, congratulations. We look forward to seeing it. Yes, my Sensing that talent in here. Yes. Like I said, I'm glad he's married to her. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. We'll be back, <laughs> we'll be back with more That's Six in the City. <laughs> <laughs>Fiber. It may be small, but it is powerful. It connects our city, businesses, and homes to the world. Without it, our ability to compete economically and enjoy technology would be limited. Thanks to the investment in our city by JA, we offer the area's first and only 100% fiber network. When you choose E Plus Broadband, you get the clearest reception, fastest speeds, and greatest reliability. Thank you for choosing E Plus Broadband and for your trust in the local service we provide right here in Jackson. Todd's a great guy. I mean, look at him. What a sweetheart. Attaboy. Wait, Todd, what are you doing? How totally selfish and untodd-like of you. Come on, Todd. 
Come on, man. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video apps with one remote. Record six shows at once and build a library of favorites with one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Call E Plus Broadband to add TiVo and ask about our new packages. The events that we've been talking about today, many of them are reminded that June is right here. That's right, it is. It's this week. And it is so, right uh, around the corner. Uh, the, uh, the, we'll start, Thursday the 31st will be the first presentation of Refuge at Northside United Methodist. Uh, it'll be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7, and Sunday afternoon at uh, on June the 3rd at 5. 5. And we got a whole bunch of events coming up, and and uh, with Unity Temple and all that coming up the next week, so we're mm -hmm. into June. It's a reminder the Mr. C pageant is coming up, and it will be carried here on the, the air live. Each evening, June the 20th through the 23rd. That's right. This pageant week. Right around the corner. And so that's coming with E plus And TV then six. after that, football's going to be coming around. High school football. <laughs> I know I'm, it's just I'm not always ready for that yet. I know, I know, yeah. but it happens yeah, it, and it, it happens comes just like, like that. Just, just like that. So it does. Is. Also, the Billy Scrivener <laughs> All Star Games are coming up this week, the Thursday night. At the ballpark, the, the uh, guys will play at the ballpark uh, at 6 o'clock, and the girls will play softball at the Sportsplex. And uh, that's done each year with high school All Stars selected. Uh, by coach, nominated by coaches and selected by a couple of college coaches here in, in honor of Billy Scrivener, late Billy Scrivener. So that's coming up. So if you get out of the ballpark Thursday night, and then the generals will be back home Sunday. Sunday. And they'll start a, another series. And they're a game and a half behind Chattanooga right now. We've got about 16 games left in the first half of the Southern League season. So we're still in, in position uh, to win that first half championship and get to the playoffs this year with the Jackson Generals. So all that's coming up, but, but coming out. So anyway, we're delighted to have these folks with us. We appreciate Glenn Miller bringing these folks uh, here and it's the always work that they do. To, to a very serious thing to work uh, when you look at this life and why these things happen. We get to ask why. And if Glenn's found the answer, we're going to get that next week. We're bring <laughs> Stay him back. tuned for next week. St still waiting for it, you know. And, and, but anyway, we appreciate the talent of these young people and appreciate them being with us. So we're going to close out from the uh, musical <laughs> Refuge. Uh, once again, coming up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7. At Northside United five. Methodist. At Northside United Methodist, exactly right. It's good to see you. It is. Good you to see you. You running in. anywhere this weekend? Mm -hmm. uh, just out and about. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to eat somewhere this weekend. You should. <laughs> I'll keep my part up. <laughs> well, we know we're going to eat next Thursday at the, the, the um, Twilight Run. That's so. right, Twilight. That's right. We see? sure are. Right, you, we'll, you forgot we'll, already. We'll be there together. That's right. We're going to turn this over to the uh, refuge from Northside United Methodist Church. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. And in the middle of the war, you got my soul. And you alone are the anchor when my sails are torn. Your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm. solid ground is falling out from underneath my feet I see the black skies in my red eyes I can barely see and when I feel like I've been let down by my friends and my family I can feel the rain reminding me in the eye of the storm you remain in control I picture slowly fade away And when the tears of pain and heartache Are pouring down my face I find my peace in Jesus' name 